Welcome back. We're almost finished with the full face of makeup. We started with our foundation. We moved on to our eyes and con we did our blush and contour. We moved on to eyes, then brows, and now we are on to lips. So if you haven't watched the other videos, be sure to check the links. I will put them down in the description box since there's, uh, I believe, five of them now. So you can watch from the beginning if you're just catching this video at the end. One of the things that's really important is the prep of your lips. So I always like to take my toothbrush and a soft toothbrush and you know when you're brushing your teeth when you're finished take the soft toothbrush and gently go over your lips to exfoliate your lips and then when you go to bed at night make sure you're using which I'm looking for mine make sure you're using one of our hydrating lip balms I like the moisture therapy uh, lip balm is great for for when you go to bed at night to keep your lips moisturized and then a lot of times also while I'm doing my makeup I will put on a chapstick lipstick uh, lip balm I should say um, on my lips while I'm I'm prepping and that gets them kind of moisturized and ready but then before I get started I want to go ahead and take off any that I have on so another thing you can do is apply foundation to your lips so we can do that just for demonstration purposes just a little bit you don't need a lot um, this is by Beyond Color. Love the lip conditioner. You can put that at night or even before um, your, but I like to kind of take some of it off so it stays put. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the red brick um, since I'm wearing red today. Now you don't always need to match your lipstick to your shirt, but I am wearing a pretty pop of red today and I thought, well, my eyes aren't too dramatic. And you know, when you're picking, whether you're gonna go dramatic lip, dramatic eye, it should really be one or the other. Um, you shouldn't go too crazy unless it's like an evening look and you've done like a smoky eye and you want a dark lip, um, then it's okay. But your face should have balance. If it's too much, you, you will look like a clown. Now, if you put your blush on ahead of time, which I have, because we're doing the steps of the series, and then you find it after you put your blush on that it's not balancing, then you can always you know, add a little bit more blush to give you more of a pop of color because sometimes a dark lipstick um, can make you look like, oh, it's not balanced. So we're doing red brick and I like to take and, and immediately start with getting my Cupid's bow and the line of my uh, lip is done and I line the whole lip, which helps your lipstick stay on better. So, and sometimes I'll use just lip liner, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and start. Okay, once you've got the start of a line, I like to take a lip brush and I like to kind of just get that blended a little bit better. Now, some people will just use the lip liner and sometimes I like to do that, but it is pretty drying because it's just lip liner. So if you're finding that it's too dry for you, then you can add a little balm. If you need a touch up at all, you can. So this is the so this is red brick just the liner. Some people might want to just do that, and then I'll use like the balm from the other side of the extra lasting sticks, and just to get a little bit of moisture. Do that, and you could go out the door and be happy with that. So this is one way that you can just have your lipstick stay on better. I also like our matte shades. You can go ahead and just use those. Put it on, blot your lips, wait, go ahead and put it on again, blot your lips. Do it like three times. Um, and then at the end, when you take off the third time, then you have a wonderful stain that stays on pretty well uh, for most of the day. Very rarely do I have to do a lot of touch ups with that. Even with this, this is just lip liner. So you can get away with this. Another thing that I like is the extra lasting. These are like markers. You can go ahead and line with this and keep it on all day. And then it has the balm on the other side, which is wonderful. So this is one of my favorites as well. But I do find that our matte shades are great for all day wear. All of my lipsticks are in the drawer. I have like a giant makeup thing here, but most of my lipsticks are in a drawer in the other room. So I went ahead and just did the liner for you for right now. I will tell you that our new True Color lip balms are pretty great for staining as well. You can put these on, again, put one coat, blot it, put on another coat. The more you put on, the darker it gets, but let it sit a minute and then blot it um, and get it to the right shade and you will have a good stain with that as well. So it just depends on what you're going for. 
Uh, again, this is just lip liner, lip liner with a little bit of balm. And if I feel like I need a little more blush, I can always go back in and just touch right here and right here, because you can see once that red is on, sometimes you just need a little bit right there and right there. And that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. Um, I hope it helps you when applying your makeup and you'll take some of these great tips and apply them and show me your pictures on social media. I'd love to see them. So thanks for watching this series and I will talk to you guys soon. Have a beautiful day. Bye. Just on my desk. Hang on. We're having a blooper here. Where did you go? Where did you go? Seriously just had it. Don't know if I dropped it on the floor. I'm losing my mind. Where did you go? It is gone. Did I drop it? The heck? Oh! Well, hello there. Ugh. Let's start over here.